This video will demonstrate how to install the Leviton 5241 combination single pole and three-way switch and the Decora 5641 combination single pole and three-way switch. Please be certain to follow all instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you're unsure about any part of the instructions or you're not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact an electrician. When installing and terminating this Leviton device, have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and a handheld voltage tester. Installation takes approximately 15 minutes. The process shown follows general guidelines. Local codes take precedence. Be sure to turn the power off at the circuit breaker and use a voltage tester to ensure that the power is completely off. Now, we need to identify the hot wire. To do this, turn the circuit breaker back on. Carefully, use the voltage tester to test each wire. The hot wire will be indicated by the tester. Once identified, turn off the circuit breaker to shut power and test to ensure the power is off. Use a small piece of electrical tape to label the hot wire. This device will be wired so that one light is controlled by the single pole switch and another light is controlled by the three-way switch and another three-way switch at a different location. First, we will demonstrate a common feed installation, which is the single pole switch and three-way switch on the same circuit. This method will require the following wires be present in the wall box. A black wire which is the hot, a black wire which is the load, two traveler wires, and a bare copper wire which is the ground. Next, we will demonstrate a separate feed installation, which is the single pole switch and the three-way switch on two separate circuits. This method will require the following wires be present in the wall box. Two black wires, which are the hot wires, a black load wire, two traveler wires, and a bare copper wire, which is the ground. Keep in mind, the color of the wires may vary. The hot wire may be black or red. The ground wire may be green or bare copper. If you're unsure, contact an electrician. Next, you need to be sure that the wires are prepared for installation. Make sure the ends of the wires from the wall box are stripped approximately 5 eighths of an inch. The first installation will be wiring for common feed. To wire, first loop the black, hot wall box wire clockwise 3 quarters of a turn around one common black terminal screw. Tighten firmly. Next, Loop the black wall box load wire for the single pole circuit clockwise three quarters of a turn around brass terminal screw B1. Tighten firmly. Next, loop one of the traveler wires for the three way circuit clockwise three quarters of a turn around one of the brass terminal screws labeled A. Tighten firmly. Next, loop the remaining traveler wire for the three-way circuit clockwise three-quarters of a turn around the remaining brass terminal screw labeled A. Tighten firmly. Finally, loop the ground wire clockwise three-quarters of a turn around the green screw. Tighten firmly. The device is now terminated. Proceed to mounting at 6 minutes and 5 seconds in this video. The next installation will be wiring for separate feed. To begin, we must remove the break-off fin which is located between the black screws by using a standard flathead screwdriver. Simply bend the fin until it breaks off. To wire, loop one black hot wall box wire clockwise three quarters of a turn around one common black terminal screw. Tighten firmly. Next, loop the second black hot wall box wire clockwise three quarters of a turn around the second common black terminal screw. Tighten firmly.
Next, loop the black wall box load wire for the single pole circuit clockwise three quarters of a turn around brass terminal screw B1. Tighten firmly. Next, loop one of the traveler wires clockwise three quarters of a turn around one of the brass terminal screws labeled A. Tighten firmly. Next, loop the remaining traveler wire clockwise three quarters of a turn around the remaining brass terminal screw labeled A. Tighten firmly. Finally, loop the ground wire clockwise three quarters of a turn around the green screw. Tighten firmly. The device is now terminated. Carefully position all wires to provide room in the wall box for the device. Mount the device in the wall box with the mounting screws provided. Attach the wall plate. Restore power at the circuit breaker. Test the installation by operating the single pole switch several times. The lights should turn on and off. Next, operate the three-way switch several times. The lights should turn on and off. Finally, go to the other three-way switch location and operate the switch several times. The light should turn on and off. If the lights do not work properly, refer to the troubleshooting section of the instructions. Your Leviton 5241 combination single pole and three-way switch and Decora 5641 combination single pole and three-way switch is now ready for use. For more information about this Leviton device, visit Leviton.com.